Victoria. Did you just let Irene walk? I hate it as much as you do. She's clearly a danger to everyone in this town. I don't owe you answers, man. So my mother gets government-sanctioned, get-out-of-jail-free cards. I don't have competent representation. I can't even post bail. Aren't these things my right? Commissioner, Manning has a visitor. That's not a visitor. That's my ex-wife lawyer. Mom? Mom? What's all this stuff? something to tell you too oh uh okay why don't you go first this time you know i just said to shut roxy up but the truth is you're still in love with natalie i gotta warn you what i'm gonna tell you it's about us mom what are we doing at dad's house I thought we were going to the stables i thought you were behind jack 100 percent i am but it doesn't mean I'm blind, eh? And it certainly doesn't mean that I want him to grow up thinking that he could just cut corners where he shouldn't. Hey, Mom, what are we doing here? You think I could have a moment alone with my hot ex-wife lawyer? Sure. I'm so happy. I can't, I can't tell you how much I appreciate that you'll represent me. I haven't agreed to anything, Todd. You, you want to talk about us? Yeah. You know, we, we've been, we've been down that road before. I don't know that there's more to say. There's more. Um, last night I had a little, uh, chat with Roxy about you and me and how I feel about you. Yeah, I know. I know what you said to Roxy. She told you? She didn't have to. I, uh, I was here. I, I heard what you said. Sarah. No, it's just me. Hey, it's all that. The office must have sent my dad's stuff over. He had this on his desk. It's a nice photo. Yeah, my mom took it. I had just started calling him dad. He was so happy. You have to represent me. I don't have to do anything, except maybe get a restraining order against you. Oh, once you get out of here, how dare you use Danny to get to me? I asked her to talk to you. No, you manipulated I her. I pled my case. I'm innocent. Our daughter needs to know that. You need to know that. You know what? As soon as you apologize, we can talk my terms. Apologize? Yes. If you would stop thinking about yourself for one minute and think about you? our daughter, you would realize that you have to help me. Danielle doesn't even know me. You're the only one that can change that. I got so involved talking to Taya before, I just must have left my wallet. I'm sure it's in there. I'll check it, then we'll head to the stables, okay? Oh, my God. What? I'm so sorry. Jack, I wasn't even thinking. About what? Well, this is the first time that you've been back to the house since... since Todd hit you over the head and, and, and killed Victor. I mean, you must have been standing right where I'm standing, looking for your keys just like this, and you heard a noise, and you turned around and you saw Todd just as the gun came down and hit you in the head, right? Damn it! No, Mom, it's okay, really. No, it's not all right, sweetheart. It's not all right. I don't even know what's happened to Todd when he was in prison because he's not the man that I knew. The Todd Manning that I knew would never hit his son on the head, step over him, walk into this house and kill his brother. 
in cold blood on dear guy right? To think that you had to hear all of that. All right, can we just get your wallet and get out of here, please? I'm calling the police. By all means, they will confirm that I have been released. I'm free as a bird. Buchanan. Bo, hi, it's Vicky. Irene Manning just showed up on my doorstep claiming that she has been released. I'm afraid so. She cut some kind of a deal with the feds. She kidnapped Todd. She kept him imprisoned for eight years, and she tortured him. I thought that was illegal. Me too. But unfortunately, my hands are tied. I'm sorry, I'm not blaming you. I just find this outrageous. Yes, it is. Vicky, look, I want you to be very careful. Thank you, I will. You see, I wouldn't lie to you, Victoria. Oh, you would. And you have. Now I want you out of my house. I don't want you anywhere near my family. You mean Victor's house? My father is dead. Yes, and I thought he would have left this to me. You were wrong. This is my house, and I don't want you here. Not even to say I'm sorry. I uh, stopped by last night to talk to you, and when I got here, you, you were talking to Roxy uh, about me. So I listened. Okay, I, I eavesdropped. You heard what I said? Yeah, loud, loud, loud and clear. You don't love me. And? Nothing, John. I wasn't going to stick around for you to uh, explain why you're over me and how I lied to you and how every time you look at Liam, it reminds you of it. But you, uh... John, I get it. It's okay. No, you don't. You, you, you don't get it. Look, uh, look, after you must have left, uh, Roxy and I were talking. You know how she sometimes she doesn't let go of things. Yeah, yeah, Roxy, uh, when she wants something, she goes after Right, well, this is one of those times she wasn't going to let go of this thing. I guess she's been holding out hope for you and me or something over all this time. I, okay, I, I'll talk to no, her. No, don't. You don't have to. I mean, after you left, I, 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 I told... John, after I left what? What is it you're trying to tell me? You're sorry. Do you even know the meaning of that word? I know this is a very difficult time for you, Victoria. And I am truly sorry for your loss. You were very fond of Victor. He was my brother. And my son. I loved him. You don't love your sons. You destroyed both their lives. Victor is dead. And Todd is in prison because of you. It's not just Victor dying. It's Todd, too. I went to see him. At the jail? How'd it go? He was happy to see me. He didn't even know that I existed until they came back. Anyways, we... We talked. What did he say to you? He told me he's... He told me he's innocent. Do you believe him? I don't know. He seemed like he was... Sincere, but I don't have anything to compare it to, you know? I mean, that was the first conversation that we ever had. And I kind of felt bad for him. I mean, the man's been locked up and tortured for eight years, and now he's back in jail. You think I'm being too easy on him? No. I'm sorry, Danny. For what? Those eight years your father was locked up and tortured. That was my fault. Why do you think Danielle came to see me? She has questions about me. She wants to get to know her father. And before you go saying another negative thing, let me just you tell no you. You have no idea what I'm thinking. You did a thinking. great job. You did. She's smart. She's beautiful. She's strong. 
She's a lot like someone else I know. Were you always this much of a suck up? In, in fairness, you know, they kind of microwaved my brain. Sometimes, you know, I start these sentences and I'm. Yeah, I'm not really sure how they Flattery will get you I, nowhere. It's not flattery if it's true. And Danielle is a terrific kid. Really, you're going to argue with me about this? She's a wonderful young woman. And she totally gets my jokes. Well, I'm so glad you have someone new to work out your material. Now tell me exactly what you said to her. Okay, a horse walks into a bar. The bartender says, hey, why the long face? Someone's framing you? Yes. Delgado, someone is setting me up. Someone besides my lying son. Well, I'm sure it is in here somewhere. Yeah, I have money with me if you want. That's sweet of you, Jack. I'll let you buy me lunch, but I do need my driver's license. All right, so can we just find it and get out of here? <sighs> Mom, what's wrong? Every time I'm in this room, I just... I think of poor Victor. I think that I was married to him. Uncle Victor? No, Todd. Your biological father. Man, Jack, I was... I was so in love with that man, you have no idea. I was so naive. I thought it was the best thing that ever happened to me. I did. I mean, he was, he was funny, he was smart, he was so alive. The day that I married him, it was, it was the happiest day of my life I was marrying a man that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with, a man that I wanted to be the father of my children. And then he, he had to kill the man that raised you, the man that you will always think of as your father. But you know what? He is going to burn in hell thanks to you. What do you mean? Jack, he's going to be convicted. I mean, he has to with your testimony. He's going to be convicted, sentenced, and that'll be the last of the Todd Manning that we know. Oh, he'll get curled sooner or Sweetheart, later. Sweetheart, he's not going to go to prison. Not with the tape that Sean has. It's going to show that he was completely premeditated, that he walked in this house, he surprised Victor, and shot him in cold blood. No. Look at me. The prosecution is going to give him the death penalty. The what? There's not enough evidence for the police to arrest me. He, he totally in invented this whole eyewitness thing. He made it up. It's all lies. I admit Jack's story is a little shaky. He didn't remember anything. Now he remembers everything. And whoever does end up representing you should make the most of that suspicious shift in Jack's memory. And look, even Blair is suspicious of his story. And you should know she's already working on him. She can't do that. If Blair goes after Jack, that's just going to make everything worse. Blair knows that. She's trying to get him to trust her so that eventually he'll admit that he lied. I hope it works. Jack wants me to fry. The death penalty? You mean they'll kill him? Well, they don't call it that. They call it an execution. But basically, yes, that is the same results. But you know what? He deserves that, right? I mean, according to you, he shot Victor, right? Yeah, but the death penalty. Yeah, the death penalty, Jack. Do you remember a long time ago when Victor was framed? Well, when you're convicted of murder one, the prosecution usually calls for the death penalty, and odds are they usually kill you. No, no, they can't. Listen, hey, it is not your fault here. You just told the truth, right? Victor's the one that died. Todd's the one that shot him. And just because Todd's your biological father, you're not responsible for him. You can only be responsible for your actions. And if, if Todd wants to use a gun to solve his problems, well... All right. Maybe he made a mistake. All right? People make mistakes all the time. Right? He doesn't deserve to die. Jack, he has to pay. I didn't mean for Todd to die. You... What do you say? Even if Blair does get Jack to admit that he's lying. Well, <clears throat> there's still uh, 
Well, there's another matter entirely, which is the... The gun. Uh, the gun, yeah. The gun that you took from Dorian's house, that then you supposedly gave to a homeless man that no one can find. The gun that's never been fired. The gun whose slugs won't match the slug pulled from my poor husband's body. That gun? Yeah. Whoever represents you had better find that gun. I, I don't know if that's possible now. Why not? What aren't you telling me? Is this what you meant when you said that there's someone framing you other than Jack? Well, I'd be the first to admit that I wasn't the perfect mother. But no one can say that I didn't do my best. Your best? Well, that would include imprisonment and torture. Yes, well, I thought you might not agree with my methods. But what choice did I have? Victor, your father, Victor, had no right leaving everything to Todd. I would never defend my father. But this debacle lies squarely on your shoulders. Well, that simply is not the truth. Your nephew witnessed Todd shooting his brother. If Jack is to be believed, and I have serious doubts on that score, this is still your fault. You and your demented agency. You created this whole scenario. You tortured both your sons and set the rivalry in motion. Well, we are just going to have to agree to disagree on that. It's a pity. We were always so close. Almost inseparable. And now we are miles apart. We made very different choices. And you, you have lost yourself. You weren't a bad person back then, back when we, we did each other's hair and we baked brownies. We went to dances, we took exams, we shared our dreams. My God, you were my best, closest friend. What happened to you?